We are showing you this film at one half its original speed. This unidentified flying object was photographed by James Waters. Toward the middle of the extreme right of the frame, you'll see a second UFO that appears briefly. As we slow the film, you can see that the UFO appears to change shape from frame to frame. Now you will see the Colorado film at its original speed five times in rapid succession. Taken near New Zealand by a television news crew on December 31st, 1978. This UFO was observed by five witnesses beside the cameraman who photographed it while flying in an airplane. It was also observed on two ground-based radar sets and on the radar in the airplane. Perhaps the most interesting part of the entire New Zealand film is this unexplainable frame. During this section of the film, the UFO not only changes size and shape, but changes color from red to white. Dr. Bruce McAbee has conducted the most thorough investigation of this UFO case. He has interviewed extensively all the witnesses and has analyzed the film frame by frame. I have concluded that the film does not show Venus or Jupiter. It does not show meteors or mating mutton birds. It does not show secret military maneuvers or the squid fishing fleet. I have concluded that the film is not a hoax. My investigation of this whole case leads me to believe that the film shows a real, unidentified flying object. reveals that this circular UFO was about 30 feet in diameter and was traveling between 130 and 170 miles per hour. It has no wings, no tail section, and no visible means of protection. These extraterrestrial craft are attracted to thunderstorms and many, many times we see lightning on the surface of the planet or in the atmosphere of planet Earth. And as soon as these electric storms start, the UFOs swarm into the area. It's almost as if they're harvesting the electromagnetic energy within the atmosphere and in actual fact um, there are uh, unseen forces in the atmosphere um, etheric flows of what uh, the German scientist Wilhelm Reich described as orgone energy and it could it could be possible that these UFOs are sucking energy from these uh, electric thunderstorms on planet Earth and this is where they're getting their energy from. You should concentrate on the first object that appears and you will see that it holds its position 
many TV stations have actually broadcast this STS-80 footage, but they only show you the few seconds of the large glowing orb coming from the lower atmosphere. The cameraman who's operating the space shuttle camera is fully aware that the first object has held its position. And after the large orb has uh, ascended from the lower atmosphere um, and the shuttle is moving away from the scene, the cameraman is actually zooming in at the end of the sequence to double check the position of the uh, first luminous orb and it's a fascinating piece of video.